I'm joined now by uh, Mary Kissel, editorial board member. And uh, Mary has uh, actually been looking at kind of an interesting su the Supreme Court case that never happened. It came out of St. <laughs> Paul. And uh, it has to do with, the, with racial politics, in a, but in a very kind of interesting and way that you wouldn't expect. Tell us a little bit about it, Mary. Um, sure. Well, on Friday, the city of St. Paul withdrew its appeal to the Supreme Court on a case called Magner v. Gallagher. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean anything to most of our uh, viewers, yeah. but uh, yeah. very briefly what it meant was the city of St. Paul was trying to enforce its housing code against what it saw as slumlords um, who are not providing adequate conditions for the poor. Um, and the case has been going since 2003. Uh, the, the landlords, who are actually slumlords, said, um, no, you're discriminating against us because if you enforce your housing code, it's going to hurt minorities. Um, and and the, la the landlord cited something that is often used in cases <laughs> against people like them, an idea known as <laughs> disparate impact analysis, yeah. which is a statistical right. Uh, method of just trying to figure out whether people are being discriminated right. against. Right. Well, basically, the Supreme Court was going to rule on whether or not it is legal to sue using this so-called disparate impact analysis. Now, what is that? It's basically loan quotas. Yeah. It's the government, usually the Department of Justice, particularly under this administration, saying um, you have to have a certain quota of loans based on statistics to certain minority groups. Um, and if you don't, well, we're going we're gonna, to uh, tell you that you're racist or, or, or threaten you um, with a lawsuit. And, you know, pretty much the banks have all settled. So the Supreme Court was going to rule and on whether or not this was legal. What happened to Are St. Paul's ready for case this? on the way to the Supreme this Court? This is amazing. This is an amazing story. Um, so the administration, which has started a fair housing unit specifically to intimidate banks into settlements, went to St. Paul using and said... Using disparate impact analysis. Using disparate impact analysis, went to St. Paul and said, hey guys, you can't pursue this case at the Supreme Court. It may be in the city of St. Paul's interest and in the interests of its minorities who are living in this cruddy housing, um, but it would really cut us off at the knees and not allow us to uh, continue to intimidate banks into settlements, so we want you to pull the case. So in this extremely rare move on Friday, St. Paul pulled the case. But, but Dan, what this really is is an admission by the administration that they were going to... That basically, they're, what they are doing would have been deemed illegal by the Supreme Court, and they're not giving the court the opportunity to rule. Well, disparate impact analysis has been a tool of racial enforcement for at least 35 years. Correct. And clearly, the Obama administration is afraid that the Supreme Court is prepared to either overturn it or trim it way back. And I don't think we're talking about a 5-4 decision. It could be a little stronger than that because even liberal uh, judges have had doubts about the validity of this analysis. Well, look, there are, there are many different federal statutes under which you can sue for discrimination. We're talking about two, uh, well, in this case, one, the Fair Housing Act. Um, but there's another one called the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. Um, that, and they, the, these two statutes have a, a certain kind of language um, that, that does not imply that you can use disparate impact. It's just not there. The text is not there. So the Department of Justice has been saying, well, look, uh, Title VII, this employment right. statute, well, we think that we can use disparate impact analysis because it's in this other statute. So many observers and lawyers expected the Supreme Court to say, actually, no, that Title VII text is not in the Fair Housing Act, so you can't do this. Um, but Dan, just to give you a sense of how ridiculous this is, uh, there was a settlement in, in December with Bank of America. The Justice Department said to Bank of America, we think you've discriminated systemically against 200,000 Hispanics and blacks. Now, I'm sorry, if you think that Bank of America has a systemic <laughs> discrimination policy against that many Hispanics or blacks, it's just, it's absurd. Mary, we're going to count on you to keep an eye out for the next Supreme Court decision that comes okay. through on this. Great. All right, Will thanks do. a lot. Thank you.